What's going on? My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep, and welcome back to my dojo where I teach you how to live a high performance life. Now in this playlist, I've already talked about how to discover and how to start to cultivate your unique gift. And I also share with you how important it is to build your relationship with your subconscious if you want to do it. Remember, it's not just about positive thinking that happens in your conscious mind. We have to move it to the subconscious to really make some waves. And so in this video, I want to take it one step further and talk about beliefs because our beliefs are what are directly connected to our subconscious. And we can change our beliefs, we can change our reality. And that's what I'll be talking about today. So before I get into this video, I do want to shout out my meditation app. This app I created to help you work on building your relationship with your subconscious mind when you are not watching these videos and doing the homework I give you. So it's linked up in the description below. It's available for iPhones and Androids. It's free to download and I have a ton of sessions in there that are going to help you live more present, build that relationship with your subconscious and start to just get to your results faster. So check that out. Let me get back into the video. So let's talk about beliefs. Why are beliefs so important and why do beliefs or how do beliefs create your reality? Well, beliefs are made up of a sum of perceptions. When you go through an experience and you perceive something that's happening in that moment, whether you see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it, when you perceive that, your, your brain needs to make a jump. And that happens on the subconscious level. It needs to go from like, okay, I'm perceiving this, and now I believe that this means something good or it means something bad. Your brain wants to give a meaning to it. And so when you are having perceptions consistently over and over again, especially at a very young age, which I talked about in the last video, these perceptions eventually become beliefs. And your beliefs can either create a terrible reality for you or your beliefs can create literally heaven on earth. And so the work we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about, I'm going to begin to teach you how to create new beliefs. And that's all going to start by discovering what your current beliefs are. But before I do that, I want to very quickly give you an overview on how you are perceiving the world and how you are creating these beliefs. Because you may or may not know this, but when you perceive something in your world, you're constantly either distorting it, so changing it to fit your beliefs, deleting it if it doesn't fit your beliefs, you just gotta get it out of there, otherwise the mind just doesn't compute, or you are generalizing it. And so we are constantly doing that with the inputs. We input, we have these internal representations that come in, and as they come in, these perceptions are moving into beliefs over time. And a lot of these beliefs are, like I mentioned earlier, beliefs that were created between the ages of zero and six, and maybe a little bit later into childhood, but most of them very early. If you had a very traumatic event sometime in your life, of course, a belief is gonna be deeply ingrained through traumatic uh, emotional events as well. So we all have beliefs that serve us. We all have beliefs that do not serve us. Now is the time to start to get clear on what the ones are that are not serving us so we can create a better reality. Now for all the skeptics out there, I wanna bring this to a scientific level before I actually get into the exercise that I wanna do with you today. And on the scientific level, this all comes down to energy. Everything is energy, right? Not in the hippie sense of woo woo of like, oh, I can really sense your energy, although you can, but everything is energy, right? And so when we talk about energy and we talk about beliefs, we're talking about programming cells in our bodies with energy through our beliefs. And so if you've heard of epigenetics, epigenetics is a new field in biology which looks at gene expression. Because a lot of people believe that, oh, I have this genetic, so I'm going to have cancer or diabetes or whatever disorders may be associated with your genes. Well, now science is telling us, and this is absolutely qualified and this isn't a question anymore. Now science is telling us through this new field of epigenetics that that gene expression is not something that just happens to us that we don't have any control over. These genes actually express themselves based off of the energy in their environment. So it's all about the environment that your specific cells are in that decides what genes get expressed or not. So if your body is under extreme stress, negativity, anxiety, depression consistently, and you have some genetics for 
getting cancer or heart disease or whatever negative disorder you may have for genetic wise, you're gonna express that when you're putting so much stress on your genes, on your cells. So when you're under that stress, that energy, that environment is what's creating that poor health. It's not the genes themselves. So the same thing goes the opposite way. When you create an environment for the cells where they're super healthy and they're thriving and it's a place where they can grow, then those negative disorders from those genes never end up presenting themselves. And that's why we look at people who, you know, you say, oh, when people have some of these genes, you know, they have a 50% chance of getting this disorder. Well, why does 50% of the people not get that disorder? It's because they're not putting their cells in the environment to have those genes express themselves. And so that's what's happening on the scientific level. And that's what happens to our cells and our body and our health. And that's also what happens to our greater reality that we're living in. It's science. So to bring this all back again, do you understand now what is programming those cells? It's the environment. Where do you think that environment comes from? Our perceptions of the world around us. What are consistent perceptions? Their beliefs. So our beliefs are ultimately creating our health and our reality. So if you want a great book on this, uh, Dr. Bruce Lipton wrote a book called Biology of Belief. I found this book about 11 years ago and it changed my life forever to understand how important it is to start to cultivate the beliefs that you want. So if you wanna check that out, I linked it up in the description below for you. Now we get to the work, which I told you we're gonna be doing in every one of these videos. So if you're ready to do the work, this is the time. How do we create our reality? How do we program our reality? It's through our beliefs. What do we need to do before we decide what beliefs we want? We need to know what our beliefs are right now because your beliefs, whether they're positive or negative, have created everything in your world. And so you need to take full responsibility for that right now. Every negative feeling that you have, every negative behavior that you take part in, every negative person or event that's coming into your life or that you are being drawn to, all those things start with your beliefs. And yes, random things happen. Yes, you can get hit by a bus. I'm not talking about these random catastrophes. If a, a, a tsunami is gonna come over my head and take me out. Yeah, that shit happens, obviously. That's just a part of life. But I'm saying in general, you need to start taking responsibility for your beliefs and understanding those beliefs are creating a reality if you wanna take a step forward. So let's start with a simple exercise. All you need to do is finish this sentence. And to do so, it may be helpful to get in more of a, a more relaxed, meditative state. And you may not even wanna do this while watching this video. You may wanna go do this on your own afterwards, put on some, some peaceful music and, and do this exercise. But begin to finish sentences like, I am blank. And don't do it from a place of rational thought of this is who I want to be. This is an aspirational time, okay? Because I'll be honest with you, when I did this exercise for myself, full vulnerability, I wrote down the first time I am worthless. And I share this with you to give you permission to go there. Give yourself permission to let what's true be true for now. Because remember, we didn't create most of these beliefs. Most of these beliefs were created during early childhood and they've just been programmed into our subconscious and now this is just our lives. We're running this automatic program that we didn't even choose. And I had so many beliefs that were holding me back from living the life that I wanted and were holding me back from living my happiest life. And that's why I'm so passionate about this work because I discovered that when I went in, I looked at my real beliefs, my deep down beliefs, the ones that were ingrained into my subconscious, they weren't ones in large part that were serving me. And when I began to change them, well, everything changed. Because remember, our beliefs create how we feel, how we behave, what and who we're attracted to, and who and what we are attracting. So if you wanna change all of that, it's gonna happen through your beliefs. So ask yourself the question, I am blank. People are blank. The world is blank. Money is blank. Good health is blank. 
And when you get to the core of all these things, and you start to see what your beliefs are, then we can start to make some change. And the thing is, 99% of people who watch this video will never do this exercise. And part of the reason is because it's scary. You have to face your shadow, and that's what we all have to do if we want to move forward. It's due to laziness. Some people just, you know, they're like, it's not worth it. Like, I get what this guy's saying. Maybe I have some beliefs that aren't serving me, but, you know, I, I think I can handle it by myself. But that's the thing, 99% of people won't do this and they won't get the results. Like I said before, this channel is for the 1% of people who do want to transform their lives. They want to transform their lives, they want to transform the lives of the people they love and our world, our community as a whole. And that happens through doing this work. So to make this even easier for you, I've put a guided meditation experience that actually walks you step by step through doing this exercise in my app. So if you download the app and you subscribe, again, it's linked in the description below, I will take you through this process. I'll bring you into a deep, relaxed state so you can get through all that BS of wanting to be something and just see what actually is. And we can make some real progress. So that's linked up in the description below if you'd like to do that session with me. If you don't download the app, you can definitely do this on your own as well but I highly recommend you check that app out because I'm gonna bring you to a deeper, deeper level. It's very close to doing a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me so we can really bring you deep and find out what those beliefs are. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really, really hope that you discover the beliefs that aren't serving you so you can change them and begin to create a better reality. And that is what we're gonna be focusing on in the next video. Like I said, I'm gonna be giving you this step-by-step -step guide and I may throw in some random videos in between these, but there's gonna be videos in this playlist specifically that are taking you on a guided path to become the greatest version of yourself. And so the next one that I'm gonna be putting in this playlist is gonna be teaching you how to create new beliefs after you've discovered the old one. So make sure you do your homework today or within the next few days so you get through this so you can move on to the next video and keep making progress. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep. Thank you so much for watching again. Subscribe to the channel if this has been helpful. Like the video, comment below, and I'll catch you on the next one.